Okay, so let's change this question up a little bit. Um, it says, draw the products of the following Dieckmann condensation. Let's also draw the mechanism of that same reaction. What do you say? Okay. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we've got the ester here. So, remember, put all your lung pairs first. It's going to react with uh, sodium ethoxide there. And then the second step is going to be uh, H3O plus. I guess let's write out what the product would be first. Okay, so with the so the product is going to be this. The normal Dieckmann condensation product. Like you would imagine it to be. But let's do the mechanism now. Okay? So you got that written down so you know where we're going? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, just like always, whenever we're using that sodium methoxide, that's a strong base, remember? Mm -hmm. And then we have acidic protons here on the alpha carbon. Okay? okay, so those are the most acidic protons. So the other thing we can imagine this doing is attacking the carbonyl carbon, going up and back down, kicking off that as a leaving group. But that's the same thing as that. So if it did it, it wouldn't change anything of the starting material. Okay, so that makes sense too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. So let's look at those two protons there. Those are the acidic ones, obviously, right? So we're going to have those deprotonated. So we're going to do that. And since it's an acid base reaction, it's just going to go back and forth. deprotonated this one over here as well, okay? I just picked that one because it's over on the left side and I write from right to left, okay? The other one could have been deprotonated, you get the same product. Thank you. Remember, a Dieckmann condensation, that's just a um, Claisen condensation that's intramolecular, okay? So, whenever it says Dieckmann condensation, look for an intramolecular reaction that's going to happen, a cyclization, okay? Mm -hmm. Specifically, a cyclization that'll be a five carbon um, mm -hmm. cyclic ring or a six carbon, because those are the most stable. Any other one is very difficult to form. Okay. Anything smaller than five or bigger than six, okay? So what we're going to do, remember, we're going to be attacking this carbon here Okay. Okay? So we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? That's the one that's going to be attacking there. Okay? So let's just show the mechanism. That's going to come down like that. That's going to go over and attack like that. Okay? And that's going to make those electrons go down like that. Okay? So now let's count what our carbons, okay? So, um, let's see, do I have a, another color? The purple is up here, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, and see where the electrons are coming from? That fifth carbon there, okay? Five, so we want to make a five-membered ring, a cyclopentane ring. It might be easy for you, easier for you, 
if you labeled the carbons here, one, two, three, four, five. We can erase them in a second. So, attached to carbon one, mm -hmm. right, you're going to have the O minus now, because look, the electrons bounced out. Like that. But you also have attached to carbon one the O ethyl group, right? Okay. So let's draw that now. Does that make sense what we've done there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? Wait. So carbon one, carbon one. Okay. Does that make sense? Because this thing's still attached to it. Okay, okay. Okay? So carbon one is or carbon two, is there anything attached to it? No. No. Uh huh. Carbon no. three? Carbon no. four? Carbon five? Yes. Well, what is attached to it? Many things. Well, one thing in particular, what is it? Yeah. Okay, you gotta say something. We're on the we're on camera. Everybody's waiting for your answer. What is it? Why don't we say how many carbons we got to put on there? What, what, how many carbons are here before we hit the oxygen? One. One, and then what do we put? The double, the, the carbonyl group. Okay, the carbonyl. And what else is attached to it? And the CH3, CH2. The O, that thing, right? Yes. So like an ethoxy group. Okay. okay. You could have said the ester too. Okay. So that's what you get, right? So this um, sp3 center is not stable. Okay. And remember what our react uh, our product was. Okay. So we're going to try to make that beta um, uh, ketone with the acid, right? So beta acid ketone or beta keto acid. So we're going to knock that thing off like that. There's our five-membered ring with the ketone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess I'll just draw it over here. Okay. So on carbon one, there's now a ketone. Right? And carbon 2, there's nothing. 3, there's nothing. 4, there's nothing. And we knock that other thing off the ethoxide group off of carbon 1. Mm -hmm. So it's out there by itself. And on carbon 5, we've still got that ester. That's an oxygen. Does that make sense? What we've done there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Okay, so now, second step, H3O plus. So, one thing we can think of H3O plus is going to do. Protein. Yeah, protein. The alkoxide. So, we're going to make ethanol as a byproduct of this reaction. Like that. Right? And we've got water and more acid. So that'll do that. We'll put another H3O plus. Like this. It's going to deprotonate. Those things are going to do, those electrons there, the carbon yellow electrons, are going to deprotonate like that. I'll erase the top up there, so it's not. Mm -hmm. 
so cluttered. Does that make sense now? Yes. Okay. So we've got that, and we've got water. Like that. Water is nucleophilic to that electrophilic carbon. Oh, shoot. Sorry, that was supposed to be that still. Okay. It's going to attack there. Knock those electrons up like that. So when we do this, like this, okay, you're going to have some base in there. Going to deprotonate that water. <clears throat> I erase some more of this stuff. So then what's going to happen is um, we're going to have this thing here, acid now, from this reaction here. That's going to protonate the um, alkoxy functionality, giving us the H there, plus charge. Remember, whenever you can see a small molecule, right, that has a positive charge on it, it'll be a good leaving group. Hopefully you can see that's ethanol right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's going to be a really good leaving group. So what's going to happen is these electrons are going to come down and knock that good leaving group out, reforming the carbonyl there. Deepman condensation product, the beta keto acid. Any questions on that one? No. No questions. Still a lot of steps, but. <laughs>